good people, welcome back to the first take. I'm Eddie Reese, and uh, Screen Junkies have made themselves another honest trailer. So, thanks to uh, Robert D. Jong for giving me a heads up on this one, let me know it dropped. So, uh, let's get into this, man. Let's see what holes they can pick out of this one. But to be fair, with all the drama it took to make this, you know, you gotta expect a few holes. But even though I love that, man, but considering the drama it had, getting made. Oh no, don't you dare! Don't From you dare. Edgar Wright, <laughs> until he refused to get in line, comes a movie based on a superhero so ridiculous, you'll swear Marvel's choosing their projects on a dare. <laughs> Ant-Man. You've seen Marvel movies based on green giants, Norse gods, and these weirdos. Now, get ready for a hero so silly, no one can even keep a straight face when they say his dumb name. Ant-Man. Ant-Man. Is it too late to change the name? In this super-powered heist film that, against all odds, actually kind of works. Yeah. I mean, it's still more believable than letting someone join the Avengers just because they're good with a bow and arrow, right? Meet Scott Lang. Yeah. Say yes, Scott. <laughs> Wait, nope, not that way. <laughs> yeah, that's the guy. A master thief who gets busted every time he tries to get away with anything. Hello, guy. His life will change when he meets Hank Pym, <laughs> the billionaire industrialist who lost control of his company to a bald former ally who betrays him and plots to use his advanced suit technology for evil. And if that sounds familiar, it's because it's the exact same premise as the first Iron Man movie. If it ain't broke. I mean, seriously. It even has that friend staring at the suit they'll wear in the sequel moment. Next time, Oh, baby. It's about damn time. Fuck. Real and amazing visual effects that make 70-year-old Michael Douglas look like 60-year-old Michael Douglas. And oh, that was good. And his locations pulse with epic danger, like a briefcase, a toy train set, and <laughs> Michael Pena's jug. <laughs> In some of the most high-stakes fights between tiny people since Frodo versus Gollum, <laughs> Marvel still hasn't run out of ways for guys to punch each other in the face. Or in this movie's case, Sucker Punch. And now it's gonna blow up in your face. Are you okay, did I... <laughs> there really was a lot of those, weren't there? Fuck. Prepare for a movie that would be really stale without Paul Rudd doing Paul Rudd things. Because most of it is Hank Pym yammering on about some boring science crap. I use electromagnetic waves to stimulate their olfactory nerve center. You must retrieve this prototype of a signal decoy. I created a formula that altered atomic okay, well. So that's distance. what my that's what he was uh, moaning about. He went subatomic. What said, separates itself from the other eleven MCU movies with a few unique twists, like Making another schlubby comedian get abs for a superhero role. Actually getting you to care about disgusting insect monsters. <laughs> no! Not Anthony! Oh man. I like that one because he had a name. And saying the one thing everyone's been yelling at the screen since phase two started. I think our first move should be calling the Avengers. So strap in for the best micro movie since Honey I Shrunk the Kids. Uh. As Marvel proves once again, they can literally sell you anything. And they don't even have to try that hard to sell it. Ants. Ants. Man, man. The fuck? Huh? Starring. <laughs> I love you, man. Tony Stark Sr. <laughs> Wasp Machine. The only Latino in the MCU. Oh, T.I. as himself. As the biggest Avenger they could get. Thomas and the Magic <laughs> Railroad. <laughs> and disposable Marvel villain number nine. Tiny yeah, Iron Man. But that suit was awesome though, man. That yellow jacket suit was sick. Man, after this one, I cannot imagine these movies getting any strange. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Be sure to subscribe That's the for next more test. Honest Trailers. Darth. Yeah, all that did is remind me how much I enjoyed that, man. I don't care. Yeah, it was a bit janky. He had a lot of drama getting made, but it got made and it was fun. In no small part, thanks to Paul Rudd. Even though he was doing his, as they say, Paul Rudd things, it just worked in this project, man. And Paul Rudd's never actually done it. Paul Rudd things in an action film, so that made it fresh in itself, in my opinion. I liked it. I still like it. But, uh, yeah... Yeah, I'm, I'm actually really looking forward to the next one though, uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp. Or, should I? 
the fact that this was based on Edgar Wright's foundation could that have been what made it good if you take that away and they start from scratch could it lose some of the charm that he had I don't know man now nah, I got faith I got faith they can pull it off man Marvel know what they're doing whatever you guys <laughs> let me know what you think right comments down below you like the video please subscribe right up there I'm Eddie Reese this has been my first take to honest trailers screen junkies on this trailer of Ant-Man. Still a good film. Still a good film. But I ain't mad that they did this though, because, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let people.